Brian Stetler, CNN media correspondent and a host of a show on CNN called Reliable Sources, was on another show, I guess, on headline news, and the subject of the day was protests or policy, and it was hosted by a female, I think she was wearing glasses, but she had blonde hair, and she was doing every single maneuver and tactic that Bill O'Reilly is notorious, nay, infamous for including interrupting somebody. So, I'm going to take away her effect and read what he said. Now, it's a statement, and I'm going to read it. When I was interviewing David Hogue only ten days after the massacre, there were a few times I wanted to jump in and say, let's correct that fact. When he called Dana Lash the NRA CEO, I interrupted and corrected that. That's a few sentences of data. So I'm going to dismantle it really quickly. While he was interviewing a kid, a little over a week after a bunch of his friends might have gotten killed or people were shot at in his school, there were a few times he wanted to jump in and stop David Hogue from talking, interrupting him, and correct him when he made a mistake about something like getting the name of the National Rifleman's Association's uh, head or CEO wrong. And he did, in fact, interrupt him when he did that and corrected that. And then they moved on. But David Hogue being young and maybe overwrought, uh, he basically decided to not correct him on a bunch of stuff. That is not him saying, I'm admitting that I let David Hogue lie on my show. Let's tear that apart. You'd have to show that David Hogue lied. All you'd have to do is find the show and find examples of David Hogue saying something that is demonstrably untrue, which could be a mistake, and that by saying those things that are not accurate, that it benefited him for some agenda or something and was misleading. Nobody's posted a video like that showing these two talking and tearing it apart. Why wouldn't you do that? Isn't that where the lies are? Why is it... Okay, well, maybe one of you will point me to the video where that's done, because that's the point. Your assertion is David Hogue lied. Prove it. Not that someone said... At best, you're saying that Brian Stetler said he thought David Hogue was lying. That's not what Brian Stetler said. I'm not shoving words in his mouth. That's the direct assertion here that this guy was on some show on HLN and said, effectively, in effect, that David Hogue lied. No, what he said is David Hogue got some stuff wrong because he's a dumb kid, and he corrected him a couple of times, but he didn't correct him all the time because, honestly, he just let him go because it was very soon after the shooting, and he didn't want to interrupt him. Now let's talk about the tactics of the blonde lady that was apparently interviewing or grilling Brian Stetler. I don't know who she's with. I've never heard of her before. She's aggravating as hell. She deliberately interrupted him. She tried very hard to make sure he couldn't complete that sentence. She kind of nudged No, 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 no. I'm going to keep talking. I can be louder than you are and more screechy. Okay, now you shut up. Now I'm going to say my assertion. And now I'll let you complete your sentence while I sit here and go, Mm-hmm. Yeah, whatever. Uh-huh. Active listening is when someone's finished talking and you... So that they'll keep talking. Um, Passive-aggressive listening is what she's doing. She's trying to get him to shut up. I don't know what her agenda is. She has one. And people who watch this, if you really want him to be uncomfortable and un unhappy, we all like watching Trey Gowdy grill somebody who deserves it. This lady is simply interrupting him to make sure the soundbite sticks so he wouldn't be able to complete a sentence. And you see this a lot on Fox. Ah, ah, ah. And I'm like, ah, 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 ah. Shake for me, girl. If you're going to do a Robert Plant impersonation, do a better job. Yes, I actually said that to someone. He's like, what? I said, you're doing the uh, the Fox News. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. It's not like you're having an uh, experience. Stop it. You're not going to interrupt me. I'm not going to let you. And you're going to acknowledge you did it, or we're ending the conversation. Well, I'm not. No, you will admit you did that, because it's a tactic. I don't care if you learned it from your mom. And then I just make it much more uncomfortable for them. I'm good at this shit, too. 
You notice how I interrupted myself here and you don't remember what we were talking about. Is it effective? How many of you actually watched that video and remember what the guy said? Or do you remember going, aha, I got you, I got you, because that's what she's doing. It's a tactic. And they use trigger words like admit, or confess, or oops, or he slipped, or uh, uh, leaks, wiki. Because people like valuing things that are accidentally revealed. Yeah, someone flubs up and says the wrong word. That's the truth. Not everything they've ever said in their entire life that completely contradicts one moment out of their life. Minority report thinking. So anyway, um, he corrected David Hogue when he made a simple mistake about who is basically running the National Rifleman's Association. And some of you might be wanting to correct what the NRA actually stands for. Because I can't remember if it's the National Rifleman's Association or not. Post below. Feeling manipulated? Next. What he actually said was, while he was interviewing David Hogue, he wanted to correct him on things he got wrong. Not, I'm admitting so I can be sent to heaven for admitting my sins, because that's what a confessional is that I let David Hogue lie, and now I'm confessing because I feel guilty. That's the other meaning. No, he doesn't feel guilty. He's explaining to somebody something, and they're trying to prevent him from saying it. And he's not confessing to something so he can go to heaven. And let's cover that. Deathbed confession. He swore it on his deathbed. Those are two different things. A deathbed confession is when you have everybody leave the room so you can confess to a priest who will keep it private all the things you've done that you haven't talked about since your last confession so that you have confessed your sins and begged forgiveness so that you might be allowed into heaven. That's literally what a deathbed confession is. Somebody swearing on their deathbed, such and such, doesn't have any merit because it doesn't mean anything. It's not related to anything. Somebody saying, I'm, I feel guilty about something in my life and I want to confess it before I die, that's not really how things work either. People confess to somebody or something for that reason because they're being selfish, not because they want to do some good in life. That's not something that an atheist would do after a lifetime of doing evil. Why would you do that? That would just make it to where whoever inherits your house isn't going to get anything. And no, atheists don't believe that confessing on their deathbed will get them into heaven because they don't think there is one. It's a dumb meme. And just like that dumb, damned meme that people keep bringing up that, no, Tesla didn't confess anything on his deathbed. Not that, whatever you're into. The reason people like looking for oops videos and confessions and leak videos is because they want to believe that once in someone's lifetime they said what I want to hear. No. And in the video, Brian Stetler does not say or confess or admit that David Hogue was lying or assert it. And even then you'd have to prove still, you'd have to prove David Hogue was lying. Or that he really thought he was lying. There's no indication of any of that. This is a stupid meme. And all you have to do to debunk it is get past the uh, blonde lady getting escalatingly loud and trying to prevent him from saying when he called such and such the NRA CEO, I interrupted and corrected that. She's trying to make sure he doesn't finish that sentence. And she's acting openly antagonistic to him completing it. And she should never be allowed to interview anybody else again. And whoever at CNN greenlighted this person talking to him, that was stupid. I don't know, I don't know who she is, but she had some damn thing she wanted to push. I couldn't even hear it after a while because, oh my god, after the fifth take, I had to play it back five times just to try to get that it might have been Dana Lash and the NRA. I can't even really hear what it is. Um, no, this is not evidence of him confessing to anything or an admission. This is not evidence that shows that David Hogue lied. All you have to do is show when he lied. So why are you doing this video? It's a distraction. And he's not thinking that David Hogue was lying. He was correcting David Hogue on making a mistake. And again, for the umpteenth time, I won't use David Hogue's actual last name because the uh, computer system on YouTube flags videos for me saying his last name correctly. 
and it may do it anyway. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that. This has been Debunked. Bye.